mas foi também tudo cancelado esse programa do YouTube, eu fiquei eu fiquei lá e nada Enfim, eu decidi estudar e descobri uma mulher ártica que ficou no centro do Canadá, na banheira de um cobalto que ficou em um também cobalto que ficou. Today I did not bring any thoughts. No, I did not really bring any topics today, so um, I will actually think about it. What is gonna be a good way to think about? No thought. No thought is supposed to fit in here. How about now? Sorry, just let me check the check, 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 check. Come on. Okay. <sighs> I apologize. I apologize for the uh, audio. I'm trying my best to understand what is the problem with this mic, but this is working okay, but the software is probably not picking her. Well, if they consider my voice as the noise, I put the noise filter, so that might be the case. But without the noise filter, I don't think you can hear much because my... Uh, fan is going on all right um so this is the sashiko live streaming i will cut it this one in the beginning um sorry about that so this is the sashiko live streaming thank you so much for coming to the thursday night um this is the live streaming where i stitch sashiko in front of the camera without any editing and talk about some sashiko and today i did not bring any topic i, I did not bring any topic so i will start stitching and then start thinking about what i can share tonight if you have anything specific request please let me know mm. has been a little bit difficult on my end a little bit of issues not issues labor <laughs> i think i have to work on those things from time to time and that's pretty tiring uh, everything is fine, just it's tiring. And I just sometimes wish that I can just stitch. Anyway, um, I will start stitching and then let's see what we can talk today. Just a second, okay? So this is okay. And I don't want to deactivate the camera. Not a camera, deactivate the sound. <sighs> I was running late, so I did not really, I was not even thinking what to stitch today, but let me check what I can do. My question is, do you have any questions for us? Um... That's a very good question. Sure, I can ask a question. That's a that's a very good question. That's a very oh I did not shut myself. Just a second. Okay. That's a very good question. Did I pick my nose up? No, right? I thought I was not on the camera. I hope I didn't do anything crazy. I hope I didn't do anything crazy do this one today see there's a tons of similar fabric that i have completely skipped so 
you know. I have a question. That's actually a very good question. I'll think about I'll think about it a little bit. So I have a Patreon where I kind of write everything without filters. Like I write what I really like to write or talk. And there's an Instagram that I try to write every day, which almost every day, to share what Sashiko can be. And I really don't reply to the questions on Instagram because... Some of the questions can be, well, are actually, mo most of the questions are already answered, so, sorry, just a second, okay. Um, some of the answers are already answered, some of the questions are already answered, <clears throat> so... But I try to answer any questions on Patreon, especially because the questions are very well thought. And I just received a nice suggestion, very thoughtful suggestion, and she advised me that... Well, she advised me from the Western mindset, Western philosophy, and that might lead me a question to you. Um, English is very, very, very difficult language for me, and by using a different phrase, although I am asking the same questions, it can be interpreted, it can be received as the completely opposite meaning. One thing I, you know, uh, one thing I really made a mistake was that when I was very really curious why people call their sashiko. I mean, sorry. I was one day very really curious why the you know people, Western people, people in English call their stitching sashiko, although their stitching is really really not like sashiko, right? And sashiko was becoming the trend, and I was very really, very really curious why do they call you know why don't don't they have their own name for that? Why do they call it Sashiko? And I asked, I made a question on the Instagram. Why do you call your stitching Sashiko? Like, I was very curious and why. And many, not a many, but well, quite many people took that phrase as the accusation that I'm criticizing the other people. I did not mean that, but that's how it is perceived, it is received. So I changed the question, I, you know, I made a mistake and I changed the question, what do you like about Sashiko? And that became the question follow-up, like why do you, instead of asking why, I just asked what do they like about Sashiko? So I still am very much interested in why do they call this teaching Sashiko, um, because it was not my intention to accuse anybody. I rephrased the question. Now, my question to you is that uh, in 2022, I started saying that Sashiko introduced in English is not wrong, but insufficient, not enough, not explained enough, not taught enough, insufficient. And her suggestion, their suggestion that I received today was that this can be, this is actually, not a can be, this is considered as the criticism, judgment in the Western culture. Insufficient itself is very, well, it is as bad as saying, not bad, as aggressive as saying that yours are wrong. I don't consider their sashiko as wrong, or even right for that matter. I just feel like it's not enough, insufficient. So, I thought that was a thoughtful comment or message, yet strong, powerful enough to speak up what I would like to say. And at the same time, not like easy going. I want them to realize that. So insufficient, not enough, was the way to describe the current situation. 
based on the a really honest feeling of like how can they think that their teaching is enough when they do not even have the ability to communicate about the culture here Japanese culture in the language the people are talking I cannot be the master of any American culture without learning without being able to speak in English and talking to the people who live here same here it's not what they do it's just the fact if they think that sashiko is just a technique of stitching yes probably understanding of Japanese culture or language is not necessary but it is not it is sashiko is not just a technique Sashiko is not even technique for them so I thought that saying insufficient was understandable and you know Western mindset of dualism always answer is always given so when they say insufficient I have a sort of they think that I have a responsibility or ob even obligation to explain what is missing and I don't have the obligation to do it because they can learn Japanese and then get it but that's not fair because I can speak English because I was privileged but you know not many people have that time or energy investment money to learn Japanese to enjoy sashiko so I am not saying like they have to learn Japanese to enjoy sashiko uh, but if they think that they can, they are well knowledge enough to teach Sashiko, I, I hope it's not too much to ask to be able to discuss what Sashiko is in Japanese with me first. And then I probably will never say their Sashiko is wrong or right or insufficient for that matter. I never say that to any of my Japanese friends. So is insufficient can be aggressive that's my question in english um, i'm not gonna change it <laughs> even if it is aggressive i'm not gonna change that because it, that's not a criticism or judgment in my understanding and i don't really have to follow the western mindset for this specific topic so insufficient is insufficient that's not enough so it's not a criticism or judgment it's just the fact and again don't get me wrong if you are willing to just enjoy sashiko if you are actually enjoying sashiko right now at this moment you don't have to worry about anything about you don't have to worry about language or culture understanding those things i hope of course i hope and i wish you can or you could keep learning what sashiko is with the Japanese language and Japanese culture but it's not the necessity link if your goal is to just practice enjoy sashiko uh, my account this live streaming and my account are for that filling those gaps I cannot give you the answer of what is missing but I can try to fulfill that gap by sharing the stories and that's that's all I'm doing um, Unfortunately, if I phrase it, if I summarize it in this few sentences that this is missing, um, that's already the framework of Western mindset because those people will start thinking that, well, I understand this, I understand, like, I understand, I understand one, I understand second, like, first statement, second statement, third statement, so I am good enough to teach. Well, that's not already the mindset that I would like to pass down. So I'm pretty much sharing the whole package that which might be extremely unique for the Western mindset. Uh, it's not about good or bad, it's just different. And because Sashiko is the you know Japanese culture, I think it's relatively fair to say that. <laughs> At least that might be something the Japanese people have felt before, but I can't speak up about it in English. Well, I mean, it's different. So uh, I would like to hear more about my mother. Hmm, I need a drink to do that.
I'm just kidding. Well, my mother, huh? It's a nightmare. <laughs> what do you want to hear about my mom? Well, I probably can talk about her non-stop, but I don't know where I start. I don't know where, where to start. Where is going to be the good place to start? Hmm. She's genius. She is genius and nightmare. She is the brilliant artist, although I think Sashiko is not art. She is an artist. So, sometimes I feel like what she does is not Sashiko. And that's perfectly fine. And she is very spiritual, although she does not realize she is spiritual. That makes her more spiritual. She's like my daughter for that matter. She she I don't think I don't really consider her my mother friend and with most respect. Or I think she sometimes think of me as father too, so that's a little weird. Konbanwa, konbanwa. So Well if you have any specific question about my mother, you I, I can answer that. But I don't want to list the complaints or, you know, it's only my feedback, my expression. Well, many people like her over me. <laughs> let, let me put that way. Um, many people like her. When it's not like my mother, she does not. Many people think that she, many people will not find out she's my mother if they don't know that. I have a new friend from Turkey who says talking English is very tiring and work. He worries about the translation not offending people. We discussed how you have similar issues with that. It helped me understand better the complication of the language difference. It is very difficult because you have to understand the culture behind in order to have a very good communication so and again like because i am speaking english we may think that we can kind of discuss we should you may think that we should discuss on the um, Western mindset, and it is probably true, but at the same time, if they liked, if you like to learn about Japanese culture, we probably have to, or probably should, to shift, at least try to shift the <coughs> expectation. There we go, expectation. <laughs> Like, oh, you know, in my culture, this is normal, is not already, it's it's already outside of the challenging to understand a different culture. Um, in my culture, this is normal, is already kind of the excuse to not to learn more the other culture, right? So if I say that, like, for example, um, If I force my family to eat rice and fish every single morning because that's my culture, um, by saying that we have to follow that because it's my culture, that can be too much because I am willing to adjust myself to this culture. Well, family is a little different. What are, what's going to be a good example? But. If they don't care about Japanese culture, they don't have to worry about. Like if they, they like, I don't care about the Japanese culture, Japanese mindset. Like you know, I just want to call it my Jing Sashiko because, or just because, or because it's trend. That's perfectly fine. I'm not, that, that's I consider that as a cultural appropriation, and you know that's a completely different story. I will fight from a different angle, but if they are willing to learn what Sashiko is, I think I'm trying to understand the different 
other side of the understanding is also important in my understanding and language is the very good way to learn that the other side how did my mother get started so she go, mm, that's a very good question she was teaching from the um, very childhood and she went to the occupational school like the school where they train student to be some specific craftsman or specific job like you know plumber electrician uh what else those kind of technical job and there's a school for that occupational school we call that and my mother went to the sewing like western sewing so she can sew she can sew sewing or tailoring i think uh with school for two years and then she met my father and then got married and pretty much she got into this sashiko family so she started stitching so-called sashiko but um it's it's really big to say but she was not really allowed to do sashiko much because she didn't share the blood she just got married into so it's you know she does not share the blood of the mainstream so i don't remember her stitching much when i was a child she was probably doing that but not in front of people and she continues that practice where she feel very insecurity very insecure she's afraid of actually being seen in stitching <laughs> unlike me i'm i you know i don't mind about that but my mother is very very particular about that and she does not show her stitching at all almost at all i sometimes she her stitching see her stitching but it's very aware and i don't think she would stitch in front of non family members she has probably bad memories of something and she does not really stitch uh so my father yes my father stitched like me only without passion <laughs> like me in 2000 before 2014 or 13 she he he stitched a little bit but he i don't think he liked stitching but i remember him stitching a lot for that actually after the after hours he smoked like he smoked insane amount of cigarette and he smoked he smoked and stitched it was my grandmother yes it was my grandmother and my father's side yes my mother's side grandma is the um sort of a chef japanese cooking chef so i do have that from her too in fact i wish i was that side too stronger side but yeah that's more like my grandmother's side which is my father's mother's side yeah they did something <laughs> i'm not proud of what they did I'm, I'm proud of what they did in terms of passing down or reviving the culture but i really do not respect everything what they did some yes but not the whole picture i think i talked about this on the sashi i did the webinar last year and i probably talked about it if not let me know i should probably talk about that as the sort of structured webinar which i offered it for free so i will probably make it for free too again since it's really so like i i'm not proud of that i'm not really 100% respecting what my family did 
and I don't want to remember the childhood much. That's why I don't talk about it much, neither. <laughs> well, it's kind of something. <laughs> I don't want to say traumatic, but traumatic, yes. Uh, let me put this way. Uh, my wife is the psychologist, right? So she sees the, a lot of clinical client. And when, when she heard my story, she kind of sighed. <sighs> so what does your fam father's family feel about your current work everybody's gone besides one so I don't know what they think well m my father is the one probably who pushed me to here so he may be smiling already well, I wouldn't say heaven here because if I say heaven, it's more Christianity thing, so. But without that kind of drama in 2000, I mean, between 2010 and 2004, I probably would not be teaching any sashiko or even sharing any of those kind of stories. That was kind of my father's message that I should share. I interpreted, he did not tell me that I should share, but I interpreted that his action, his message, his stories, it was sort of designed for me to start sharing what Sashiko is. So, yeah, that's what I mean I did I did not really start teaching or sharing Sashiko out of nowhere I of course have a reason I folk I of course have a motivation behind it and I mean I have a story behind it probably that a lot of drama in 2010 to 2014 is the fundamental of the stories we make we make and share both we make as my mothers and i and the, the stories as the whole family but yeah it's interesting probably but it may be too much to probably talk on the live stream <laughs> I mean, you know, we don't know who is going to listen to this, so I have to be careful. And I probably shouldn't be talking everything that I can. So let's put that way today. Yeah, I think that's a good way to <laughs> conclude it. But th there's no taboo, so don't, don't worry about asking the questions like that. Uh, I will control what I can say and what I, you know, what I can say and what I shouldn't say. So don't worry about that. It's not your problem. It's my problem. I'm sorry to hear about your family. I'm glad that you decided. Let's see. <laughs> I am happy that I am, you know, I can, I could meet many, many people. But at the same time, it is very challenging route. Yeah, it is quite challenging route. Like, it was much, much peaceful when I was in Japan, just for stitching purpose. It was not easy but more peaceful because I did not have to realize how different and that difference can be violent if they don't accept I used to I did not think 
like this before I moved to the US. So when I was in Japan, I thought, I think I was feeling the similar something like, you know, the Sashiko introduced in English is not wrong, but insufficient is the new term that I kind of still saying that in 2022. But I probably felt the same way even 10 years ago. But I did not admit that there was something I it was probably painful. I did not like that feeling, but I did not realize that was okay to say that. That I feel uncomfortable. Well, the kind of one example is that <laughs> one example of explaining this feeling is that um, when I was in Japan, there was one person, one Western person, who sort of told me that I should be thankful those who translate Sashiko into English. I repeat. So when I was in Japan, I was in Japan and I was not sharing any stories in English. There was one person who talked to me and she was, well, I said she, so it's probably she. And she was saying that I should be, we should be, Japanese should be thankful that they are translating Sashiko, introducing Sashiko into English. And right now, my answer is what the, <laughs> you know. But the same times back then, I pretty much followed her without even thinking. And I remember I replied to her, yes, I respect you, that. And I do respect, don't get me wrong, I do respect those, but I respect what they have accomplished, but I do not respect what they are trying to do right now. Hmm. Well, they had probably I do not respect what they have done. If you if you if you push me to the edge, I probably have to say that I have to admit that. But I changed a lot. I quite am a different person in comparison to those two thousand ten and now, which is probably a good thing. The piece that you're working on tonight is that the World Decoration Studio. That's a long time ago, wasn't it? When was that? When when was when I when I was it? It's not. This is not the World Decor anymore. The World Decor is gone. I kind of gave up and I already hanged it. So it's just right there. This is not the World Decor. Yeah. This is. Not, I don't know what this is gonna be. Huh? I don't know what this is going to be. Well, I really, I don't want, I don't want to create any misunderstanding here. So I really am appreciated for those questions, suggestions, even criticism for that matter. Because that's the sign of caring. That's the sign that they would like to learn more. And I usually reply to those when they are trying but <laughs> that, that, that was the reason my Instagram was a little bit of like a battlefield a few years ago but they stopped coming and probably right now they even decided to not to say things because of that And that's not okay, in my understanding. That's the, you know, that, that's the repainting the culture.
well anyway so that that's <laughs> that's that there are a lot of stories behind it and I was not ready to share the stories 10, 20 years ago, 10 years ago, 10 years ago, well, 10 or 11, 12 years ago. I wish I kind of were ready to share the stories, let's say 15, 15 years ago, like right after my college or even in the college, while I was in the college, you know, writing those stories or talking about those things are very good for the English practice. So I probably sh should have done that if I could back then, but I was not ready in many aspects. Like I was not mature enough, My I was not aware of my the like, significance of what I do and also there were no of course there were no tools there were no social media there were no YouTube for that mm. so there were no vehicle to deliver but at the same time even if I had a vehicle to deliver I wouldn't be able to talk about this like this today so, you know, things happen for the reasons, and I still sort of agree with those, not with those, <laughs> there are a few Sashiko people in, 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 <laughs> there are some few Sashiko, sort of, te teacher is a little different word, since we call it sensei, or, which means like somebody who were there before, not the teacher somebody who were there before and as, as much as you may think that I'm always complaining about Sashiko in English there are people who were trying to explain what Sashiko is in English they don't publish the book like I keep saying like why don't you publish a book why didn't you why don't you but well anyway <laughs> They are very fluent in Japanese, and that because of that they don't publish a book. Anyway, so one of the one of them told me that I was ten years late. It was it is t too late. It is too late to talk about what Sashiko is or what Boro is because the information is already settled. Many people know what it is already, and what it is became already westernized. So she told me that it is too late, and I kind of agree. The more I share the stories about Sashiko, the more I feel like, well, it is too late. They they do have the audience have already the expectation. Of what Sashiko should be, and they they get surprised by the stories I share or technique I share. So for that, it is you know too late. It was too late. Um, but although I uh, although I you know understand and even agree with that, I kind of rephrase that it is too late for me to share what Sashiko is without the pain but I can still share what Sashiko is if I decided if I am willing to go through those difficulties I don't think it's easy because you know some people make money out of it some people make a living out of it so changing their opinion is pretty much changing their life so of course they don't do that <laughs> but it does not it's not a good reason for me to stop saying so it is not too late when I am okay with the pain Sashiko is 
not going to be described by publication, as you can tell. So I have to, I would like to publish a book one day,、um, but it won't be enough. My first paragraph should be like, this book is not going to teach you what Sashiko is, but this book will give you the hint or help you to illustrate what Sashiko can be for you. And that's probably the you know, beginning of Sashiko book if I have to write. Not have to, if I can write. So it is too late if. I like to share what Sashiko is without paying. Like, if I can make the trend, I think they, they say in terms of that it is too late to make the trend because the trend is already here and I have to be the stone in that trend. And if there's no trend, being a stone can make another stream and then that can be bigger stream and trend. But since this stream is already super big, I will be obstacle instead of actual voice. And for that, it is too late. I should have done it 10 years ago. But if I'm okay with being the stone, obstacle, if I'm okay with being the obstacle, if I can consider myself as the obstacle to the current trend, it's, it's hard, it's very difficult. Because I have to keep sort of. I have to be always encouraged to fight back. And then, you know, it's not too late. It's not easy. I want to be just, you know, stitching and happy boy. I'm not an age of boy anymore, but, you know. But things are really different. Jade disagree, Lily disagree. <laughs> I, know, I know everybody disagree that it is too late. It is not too late,、um, but it is too late to do it without the pain. And I am okay to take the pain, painful route, so it is not too late for that. Well, but th that's thanks to you.、Um, we, I am still very, very small stone in the trend, and many people think that I'm the obstacle. They don't want to hear what I say. Because that's, you know, that's uncomfortable, that's un inconvenient. I understand that. But, <laughs> fact is fact. And that's the power, that's the power of English. Like, by knowing English, like, English is already a privilege, right? Like, I do have a privilege that I can speak English, and that's a huge, huge privilege that I received by、um, my environment and also my choice. At the same time, so my family was understandable and also wealthy, you know? Well, wealthy is a little. Too much word because I kind of paid my tuition.、Um, well, well, but I can't speak English now, so it's the power, and I am willing to use my power to speak on the other half of Japanese people as well. I mean, I'm, not, I'm easier side. I'm very easier side. I'm more like the changer side. I'm not a traditional, I'm not a conservative. There are so many conservative teachers in Japan, Sashiko teachers or even masters, in each Sashiko, not only the whole Sashiko, each Sashiko has each teachers, and you know, they don't speak English. So, they will never understand the difficulties or even scariness or fearness or stubbornness. I can keep going with the list of characteristics. They, they will never understand it because they don't show their 
honest feeling if they don't speak Japanese. But they complain. <laughs> They're not a complaint. Mm, they kind of whine for that matter. They don't try to solve it, but they complain. They, I cannot think about the word besides the bad word. Uh, they, <laughs> they, yeah, they, and I sometimes hear those stories. And it is not really difficult to explain what sashiko is in Japanese. Trust me, I am doing such a good job in Japanese. I wish I could explain that in Japanese. I cannot just translate that because by translating it, it loses all the essences. It, it, it does not lose the essence. If I translate directly, it does not make any sense. Ah. <laughs> That's the difficulties. So like, you know, DeepL or Google Translate, I do try to use that, but for some reason it loses the sense. Because there's expectation that we all share and that's not, no question asked. That's the kind of understanding for no question asked. Because we share the same expectation, it is much easier for me to explain what sashiko is in the Japanese language. Because we share the same expectation. Since we do not share the same expectation when I explain what sashiko is in English, as a result, I have to explain each expectation before I explain what sashiko is. And each exp expectation is the part of the ordinary. And it is extremely challenging to explain what ordinary is. And that's what I'm doing. Ay -ay. I would definitely buy a book if you ever publish one. Oh, thank you so much. I will. <laughs> I'm trying, but. <laughs> you know, after all, I'm a stitcher, right? So I always kind of escape to the stitching. Like, ah, I don't feel like writing today. So, like, writing a tiny story every day on the Instagram is kind of more than enough for me to type. So, I kind of have to summarize those things and then, you know, put in the books comprehensively. It's easy to say, it's for some reason difficult to do. Well, I think you should be comfortable in creating the book in your own time. If you decided to write it, should be the should be from your perspective in Japanese culture. Ignore the haters. There are not that many haters anymore. Haters don't come to me much anymore. I mean, I'm not saying like, you know, zero. Of course, there are haters everywhere. But they probably consider me as the troublesome uncle or grandpa. Grumpy grandpa. Grumpy? Grumpy grandpa who keeps complaining. Not complaining. You know, picking the corner of the, some, like, how can I say that? Some grumpy, grump, not a grumpy, well, grump, grumpy. So instead of, instead of, so hate is kind of, haters are not good, but hate is not always bad because they actually care. They like to understand. But there are a group of people who actually give up. Because they cannot even try to learn. It's too uncomfortable to even try or reflect. That's not even the hate. It's more like a intentional ignorance. That's what I wrote about in the Instagram a few days ago. Or yesterday. Or today. Is it the language itself that brings understanding or the general understanding that people usually have that speak the language? I think it's, as Lily said, it's both. Both. 
um, language language is more like a manifestation of the their ordinary life. Like language changes, right? Language changes over time, and it should be different. I mean, it shouldn't be the it should it should it should change over time. And those languages are gonna be changed by those who actually use that. Like I, I cannot change the English because, you know, I can probably contribute to change English, but I cannot change the, uh, Portuguese or Spanish because I have no idea what they're talking about. So. The language is kind of a summary of the culture, and also culture is the summary of language. Culture can be only explained by the language they are in, if I speak extremely. So Wabi Sabi is, I'm sorry to say this, I know, I know there are many books, but Wabi Sabi cannot be explained in English because it carries a lot of Japanese essence there. That's why I really, really wished I had a sp- I have I had spent so many years in Russian literature because I really really would like to learn, read, the Russian literature in Russian, which my wife could and can. There there's something missing. There's something I'm missing there. And I read that in Japanese or English, but it's probably, I enjoy it. I enjoyed it. But when I talk about it between my wife, and me about those things, it's. It's always there's something that I'm missing or not understanding. So ultimately speaking, ultimately speaking, language is very, very important to understand the culture. It's not even important, it's kind of essential, fundamental to understand the culture. If I do not speak English in the U.S., I wouldn't be able to understand expectations or even culture in the U.S. That's why I'm learning. And so, if you know, if you like to understand the Japanese culture better, probably first thing is to learn language. Or Go to Japan. <laughs> then you are required to speak Japanese. So it, it's, it's not, it cannot be separated as Louis say. And it does not have to be the master of that. I mean, there's no such a thing as mastering the language. Language, language always evolves. So it's culture, so there's no such a thing as master of something. And especially language, you know. Of course, there are many professors and there are many, many intelligent, intellectual people in language. But mastering is... like Master of English as the academia or like those ba- degree is understandable. But if one said that I am the master of English as language, it's very strange. Really? <laughs> so you know everything about English now? And you're not hesitant to say that? I feel the same way as to the Eng- Japanese and also Sashiko too. So I am not gonna, you know, I'm not saying like one has to understand Japanese to enjoy Sashiko. I am here for that. I am here for you so that you don't have to learn Japanese. I want you to stitch rather than learning Japanese and, you know, getting that. I'm trying my best to explain that in English instead. But if you'd like to be the master of Sashiko, master of art, or, I mean, the master of Japanese culture, well, language is probably... Not a probably, it's essential, I guess. So, you can, like, we can, we can understand other cultures based on, by reading a book, by discussing in the, your own language. But 
it is risky to assume that you we can get everything without the language. And those little tiny tiny nuances will change the whole impression. So that's why the if the goal is just to make the business out of it or to communicate to get what you want, um, I don't think the I, I think the Google Translator or Deep L is good enough. That that's very good enough for the translation purpose. So if I would like to communicate to you for some like let's say I need to go to the bathroom, I need to use something, I need to eat something. If there's the purpose oriented um, deep L or those uh, AI translation is very very good enough so for those who can only do the uh, translating from that perspective will lose job they are no longer needed when the AI is good enough but I always say that there's no way that all the translators job is going to be gone because there's always the need for the cultural translation which requires probably religion, cultural, you know, such is part of that, it's cultural practice so and especially if they like to learn the cultural, anthropological, uh, anthropological uh, folklore perspective like, you know, as a human history, if they like to learn that those deep L or Google translation is probably not gonna be. I mean, I might be wrong. I may be as good as us, but I doubt it. I really doubt it. There are reasons we speak different language. You know, it's the Babel, 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 Babel. I cannot. Not only I cannot pronounce, I cannot even spell in my brain. Babel. Babel. <laughs> that power. <laughs> that myth. That the story. There are reasons we have different language. But we have choice to learn another language. Like if I can speak English like this, you can speak Japanese. Trust me. Like if, <laughs> come on, it's language is just language. It does not require or require the high IQ or any like specific talent. Of course, the the talent is plus. If one has like a music sense or sound sense, any plus thing is going to help us to speak multiple language or you know, cut all the troublesome process to learn, to master language, to learn that language. But learning one extra language is not something only few people can do. It's the matter of memorizing the word and using it. Pronunciation can be later. And okay, you don't have to learn Japanese to practice sashiko, enjoy sashiko, or even teach sashiko, as long as you kind of mention that there are other Japanese who are, who are sharing, sharing sashiko from their perspective. And I'm, I'll help. I'm here to help. So if you want to teach sashiko, just use me. It, it's probably going to be enough for that purpose. But in order to say that I understand or we understand the language, I'm sorry, understand the culture, language is the key. Yeah, like use me. Like use me is probably not the best English word, but I just wonder why they don't use me. Well, <laughs> I'm not easy to use actually. I, I I admit I'm not easy to use, so that's that's probably not fair to say that. Yeah, I'm not easy to use.
I won't, yeah, sorry. So yeah, um, if the, yeah, it's, it's the matter of time. It's a matter of time and how much you can invest in time, by the way, not the money. Just a second, I'll just put the cam microphone off. Sorry, I'm gonna sneeze. Okay, so this will be the last thread for tonight. I have, well, has been one hour. So, I'm a bit beaten down <laughs> for what happened, well, I mean, the details are on the Instagram, so I'm not going to repeat that, but it happens, it happens, and, you know, I'm not the, you know? Iron Man to not to feel anything. <laughs> I'm sorry, Iron Man probably feels something. I am not made from iron or made from the steel, so I feel something. And it's not a really a hater anymore. It's more like the intentional ignorance that I'm I'm having the trouble with. But again, that's not something I can change and what I what I can do is very, very the same. So, I really appreciate your question, suggestion, criticism, feedback. Even if it's negative, well, the negative feedback requires them to read what I write first. <laughs> I sometimes receive those criticism like, wow, like he does not teach anything. Okay. Have you read my story Instagram or you, did you come to the YouTube? What do you mean by that I don't teach anything? Well, that's not the criticism. That's just whining. So I'm not going to repeat. I'm not going to reply to those things. But I sometimes, of course, receive those things. Like he's always complaining. He does not actually teach us anything about Sashiko. Hmm okay but those are not a really you know criticism but if it's a, if it's a valid criticism i of course take it and if i have to um correct it i of course will correct it i, I of course make mistakes and you know About Sashiko, probably there are not that many mistakes because th there's no right and wrong. When there's a right and wrong, of course there is a mistakes. But th since there's no right and wrong, only mistakes I can make, not only, but f mistakes I can think of is the simplifying the history. If I simplify the history, then I can end up making a mistake. So that's one way to do that. But besides that, it is not my intention to talk about, like, you know, justifying the history. That's not what I'd like to do. So, and I believe I have not done that. Because history is history, and, you know, we can add the story, but. What I would like to do is not add the story. What I would like to do is acknowledge the story. You know, we can add any stories after all. But that's not really a case for the cultural preservation.
So by completing everything here, the pile of this, by completing all of this, it's gonna be about 39 meters. I have another pile of, of completion, so those are the <laughs> about 10 meter ish. Yeah, it's the project of 100 meter Vasanohan. I don't, you know, I keep saying like I'm, I'm an idiot, but. I said that I'll do it, so this is my art. <laughs> Although I do not consider Sashiko as the art, this is my art in the definition of art. Um, art is something to convey the message, and this is the, my message. And I will share what the message is after I completing the 100 meter. Otherwise, it's gonna be so lame. <laughs> if I share the story first and if I couldn't complete it, that's so lame so i don't do that it's not cool so once once i complete it i will share the message with him but probably well not this year maybe 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 not I actually ended up not stitching all day today. My, all my stitching energy went into <laughs> ironing a piece I finished mending and yeah, so I I but hmm, do I stitch every day? Probably not. No, 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 no. I try to stitch be, to balance myself at the end of the day, but not all the time. There are oh yeah, yeah. Of course there are days that I don't stitch. It's okay. Okay. <laughs> I still have this much. Mm hmm. But if you could listen to this live streaming or join the live streaming while listening, not listening, while stitching, that's my goal. So please, you know, after all, after all those kind of discussion, and I, I talk a lot, I share a lot of stories, but after all of those things, the truth exists in stitching. That's the most scary thing. Like, no matter what I say, no matter what we do, everything exists in stitching. So... You can tell me if I'm lying, or if I'm, you know, faking, or if I'm exaggerating, or if I'm actually being honest. That's the whole point of this live streaming, because... In this internet, anybody can say anything about anything so you know one sashiko teacher i you know i am asking them to learn what japanese culture is or language but they might not be able you know there, there's a possibility that they don't stitch right because anything is possible anything can be fake it is so difficult to find real in this world, you don't know if I'm existing, right? <laughs> Technically speaking. Well, if you have met me in person from the workshop, you know that I exist, but for those who have not met me, you don't know if I exist. I can be those, you know, I might be doing completely different thing right now and then using my figures to talk. So, I hope that I can. I am communicating something that its stitches will tell you more than my word. So my stories are more like a preparation or sort of the appetizer <laughs> to fully enjoy 
what I would like to explain, not explain, what I would like to express, what, what I would like to leave behind by stitching. But I think everything, this is something I can say as the artisan or craftsman, or whatever, like the people who stitch or practitioner, no matter what I say, no matter what the other people say, the truth exists in stitching. So, and that's my strength. I mean, I will not change, or I'm not smart enough to. I'm not smart enough to keep lying. I'm not skilled enough to keep faking my stitching. I cannot. And, you know, Sashiko is not good for that. If you keep stitching for hours, like 10 hours, 20 hours, it's really difficult to keep faking it. I hope I am... Um, passing down that kind of message in the online class as well as the in-person workshop. I'm not really teaching how to make rice grain side stitches or the even stitches. I'm just sharing what you can do with your stitching when you devote yourself into that. That's how I teach. That's what I teach and how I teach. Okay, I will stop here after this stitch. It was not my intention to do this small line. I don't like small line much. But from now on, I have to complete this fabric so. See, like, this is the goal, but... <laughs> One... And 80, 82 of those. I need 82 of those. 82 of those. 82. And after all of this, it's gonna be close to 40. Uh, why would I say that I would do it? I have a denim to work on, I have a lot, and it's okay. I enjoy it. Do I enjoy it? Mm, you'll see. You'll see if I'm enjoying or not. Okay. Oh. So, what was I gonna say? Yes, thank you so much for coming to the live streaming on Thursday night. Um, I will be streaming the same live streaming next Thursday night again. Um, I might be doing the exactly same thing. I feel like I have to... I don't have to do it, but I kind of feel that I have to do it. Um, but yeah, I will find some topics next time. If there's any topic you want me to talk about, please let me know. If you're watching this over the archive, please leave the comment. Um, oh, so thank you so much for the comment. And so each piece is this one is about one meter point to one point one 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 point two meter, which is about one point two yard. So by completing these, this is not actually this was not completing. This itself is about a meter and a half, not a meter and 20, ce 20 centimeters. So by creating 80 of those, 82 of those, it should be 100 meter, right? So that's what I am doing as a stupid thing, but you know, that's what I started. All right. Um, oh, I forgot to say this one um 
that'd be great if you could put the good button <laughs> it's good button right like i don't i don't remember that in japanese ine button if you could press the good button that'd be really really helpful i still have the bot to put the uh, negative button in every live streaming so if you could put the like button it's going to be very much helpful for the channel health <laughs> really ask me if it's okay to use the, of course you can use this it's not my signature like i literally don't like the bot keep i mean it's not that i don't like it's really sad if my channel get unhealthy label because of those things so it's really the ratio so if you could put the good button that's gonna be very much helpful all right um thank you so much for coming and i will see you next thursday